Hello fellow uh, accountants, this is the video that you've been waiting for, I hope you like it, if, um, please click subscribe, and like this video if you eventually would want more videos about uh, programming and accounting. Anyway, this is just a simple, uh, this is an introduction, by the way I've changed my uh, channel from Fisher Minkleman to uh, I don't know what was it I know I'm not good with names I think it's um, DP all race okay anyway the point is that let's start okay so traditional accounting versus relational database of course uh, in traditional accounting you would be setting up your chart of accounts your journals and your ledgers whereas in relational database you have your database design in the for purposes of the video of this video and the videos that we'll be creating later on we'll be centered on accounting information system although in reality uh database design as i believe uh, is really centered on operations okay it's the lifeblood of the business you all know it of course we have the entry data in the journals no brainer here, enter data in the tables, so no brainer here. So the difference in the meat of our videos, uh, you know, topics um, is based on SQL, which I think would be interesting to you. And you would like SQL very much, uh, you know, uh, to uh, as your arsenal in your, in your career as accountants later on. You know, we are uh, in a generation where uh, it's very high tech right so but anyway we still are there is more like videos are gliding path towards that end so we won't be uh, we will be presuming that you already know what's posting summarizing and creating financial statements but anyway let's move so as you can see we have normal balances of accounts we need to take note of this is pretty basic but this is the meat of your program right we, by the way we will be creating a program as based on uh, the design which will be based more or less like a general journal but the difference will be here right so as we all know assets have debit balances um, in traditional accounting we all know this right to increase the asset we need to debit debit the account and to decrease it we need to credit the account but in an rdbms setup relational database management system accounting so by the way we have uh, oracle sql server uh, mysql you know and in our case ms access so in an rdbms accounting all we need to do is to, in, to increase uh, an account with a debit balance normal debit balance we need just to, in, to enter a positive number right and if it's a credit balance credit balance for example liabilities equity and revenues negative number negative negative expenses debit balance enter positive so uh, what do I mean by that we take a look at our first uh, transaction we have 110,000 we debited so we increased cash by 110,000 right and we also increased common stock by 110,000 which is an equity account as you can see equity account credit negative so in the same way that in our uh, table here by the way this is our table general journal if we look at ms access here this is our table okay so this is 110,000 credited 110,000 so in the same way transaction number two uh debited equipment 100,000 credited negative uh, 100,000 for common stock then we used up our cash so we have to to um credit it but in an rdbms setup we put it in a negative number because as we said uh, we need to put uh, a negative number 
to decrease right an asset account because we need to increase it in order to decrease this one we need to do the, to do the opposite we need to put a negative number so in, a, in other words negative negative number to decrease just like that okay so in the same way to decrease this uh, accounts with credit balances we just need to um, uh, put in a positive number right positive number to decrease right this is how simple it is Anyway, to decrease this one, we need to put a positive number and this one negative number. Right? So expenses, we need to put in a negative number. Okay? Negative. So now the table changed. So that's how simple the uh, arithmetic is, or the alg algorithm, or whatever you call it. So there are so many ways to do this, but uh, I would prefer this because this is more presentable on a back-end perspective, on a database perspective. If we uh, put in um, positive number, that would still be uh, good, but there will be a lot of coding in the front end to do this right or um the sql that we would be using would be a little bit more complicated so i presented it this way because there are a lot of uh, database uh, design that uses this type of setup you know the positive and negative and it is more presentable in in terms of a gliding path okay from a manual to um, RDBMS anyway um, we need not uh, prolong this one as you can see we jump immediately to uh, as, you, as I've said there are um, anyway I think I've, I haven't said it yet but uh, just to note that uh, in this case right uh, there are no um audit trail here i like this one in uh, our uh, traditional accounting we, we would really see the the trail from posting to summarizing in the trial balance to the creation of financial statements but in a sql uh, i would like to use here um i don't know i would like to use um, a new slide here a uh, new one new file to demonstrate this one Okay, to demonstrate this one. So, um, supposing this would be our data. Okay, this would be our data. Data. Okay. So, when we try to query this one, supposing we need to create, uh, say, ledger. And for, for presentation purposes, we also need a trial balance and then financial statements sorry for that uh, I haven't really prepared my uh, so these are all separate uh, thing okay they have no uh, uh, relationship except the data okay ledgers uh, reports uh, trial balance etc in fact, you can also consider, you know, financial statements as a sort of reports. I mean, the trial balance is sort of reports. So anything that uh, reports here, but we'll just separate this. Okay. So anyway, so all of these things now, all, all of these things, these are all separate. Um, SQL 
statements these are all separate okay so it, this one has got nothing to do with this one it's got nothing to do with this one so if although the logic here is that um, we will be using the same criteria for each you know reports well, these are all reports whether you would call it ledgers trial balance or financial statements so the ideal thing here is to use the same criteria so, so they would all reconcile okay so the three would reconcile but that's the problem because you know what if the developers failed to reconcile all of this so it will be the duty of us accountants to to reconcile these balances right so we need to understand really how a database uh, works okay so going back to our uh, just an overview this is our um, for example let's use cash okay so cash that would be our design view so as you can see this is a query builder so we need we just we actually just drag this one like this okay we select all and shift it's like copying and we drag everything here anyway what's wrong so as you can see it's already done done thing because i've already done that okay we done rather redundant columns so we need to undo that those things we need to undo them so we just retain this four columns so the criteria is 101 so i have just you know put there 101 so so when we try to look at the data sheet view or we run the same thing so we actually could see the summary of what we did in our slide right so the first transaction is um, um 110,000 for cash and then we eventually paid for 51,000 and then we had a sale of uh 150,000 as you can see manually this is how cash uh, in our ledger works right and then our SQL is rather simple here compared to how the MS access generated its SQL view so th that's its this is its SQL view we'll be touching on this later okay so don't worry about it this is the SQL view so in our case we just used where and that was enough in this case it used group by and having clause okay so um, that's it we need don't need to uh, venture much farther uh, that's the introduction so that's the difference as you can see as we have summarized um, if it's the data here and it's not actually related except that they have the same data but it could really have some difference if not you know taken care properly taken care of properly 